Okay, you must understand. Huh? <laughs> you are not young. Okay, yeah, no. I understand that. There's no way I'm going to push you off. This. I can skate faster than you go on that thing. Huh? <laughs> Who's freaking idea it is to do this? Uh? Balance is like my worst trait. Okay, so be mm. a bit more choppy, Ken. This is F1 weekend. You know what? I woke up yesterday, yeah. like Friday morning, right? And I was like, wow. I was worried about the haze and all of that. Uh -huh. But actually, it was suddenly it's suddenly clear. Uh -huh. Do you think someone paid someone to The conspiracy to the theory is our government paid Indonesia. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit miraculous, right? It I'm just, is. Or just, maybe just sure good luck, you know? I mean, let's hope these winds keep at this level because... Yeah, you make F1 sound like really important, but honestly... <laughs> I okay, don't honestly, have a single friend that actually say, Oh, I'm so excited about F1. Me? I have friends who love like NBA, uh, tennis, uh, I mean, soccer, the, okay. uh, <laughs> UFC, uh, 1FC, but, but no, no, never anybody say like, oh my god, I love F1. Do you have a, any it's friends? It's a very niche sport. I have to say yeah. like the first year when it was in Singapore, I was really excited. More because it's so cool that we are hosting the race. Okay. But then in the years to come, I've been more excited about the music acts. Hey, we've had some really good acts. No, last year we had Bon Jovi. This year we have Red Hot Chili Peppers. Are you going? Uh, you know how like you uh you you completely not interested in movies? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I am with music. Oh my god, why are we friends? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, now I know. I'm like, oh, speak. these are big names, but mm, I'm gonna stay home and like play video games. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Okay, honestly, this year with the Swedish House Mafia. Okay. And then okay, Cardi B was supposed to come, and then she she pulled out, but then they have Gwen Stefani. Mm. And then there's Muse. Oh my gosh, tonight is Muse. Eh. All those sounds like pretty old artists, so like. <laughs> Okay, you must understand. Uh. You are not young. Okay, yeah, no. I understand that. There's no way I'm going to push you off. The... I can skate faster than you go on that thing. Uh. Okay, let's not try that. Like, I'm try? pretty sure you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then even like, like this year, I'm, I have actually like worked tonight before mm -hmm. the concert. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm gonna be at the paddock club, which I'm very happy because really good food and champagne. But I actually can, uh, I'm not that interested to watch that. <laughs> It's I mean, always yeah, the okay. party and the music. Yeah, yeah. I think, but I don't know lah. It feels the only thing I know is that Thor is here for F1 as well. Thor? Chris Hem Hemsworth. Uh, okay. <laughs> she don't know who's Thor. <laughs> Do you know who's Thor? Do you know who's Chris Hemsworth? Uh, the handsome guy. Mason Swor, uh, the handsome guy, yeah, Mason the handsome guy lah, the muscular guy from uh, Avengers Endgame. Oh, you mean the three-hour one that I fell asleep at? Okay, never mind. Forget okay, it. Forget, forget it. it. Forget I it. Forget it. We should just stop talking about movies and music. And music. Oh my god, that's like we don't have a show. <laughs> okay, fine. You talk about movies. I talk about music. Okay, fine. Forty-seven of Singaporean influencers use artificial methods to look popular on Instagram. Actually, I was really quite shocked, no. Mm. And in fact, I think Xia Xie did a video like was it a year ago? I with, think about a year ago about Dikosh. social blade lah. She said that if you go to someone's uh, growth profile, like yeah. follower growth profile, you can see if it's real or not. So a normal growth profile would be just like that, like a upward, a okay. slow slope upward, or even however steep or whatever. Yeah. But if you buy followers, it would generally be like a sharp increase. Yeah. And then maybe a plateau. Yeah. Or something like that. Like. Maybe they are smarter at buying followers. Are you, are you, are you, you you're just saying that you were surprised that... Um, I, okay, you, I'm surprised at 47%. That's a huge number. Eh. I'm not surprised at all. You're not? I'm not. I mean, honestly, when Social Blade came out, I was also looking at... Um, like a lot of profiles just to have an understanding and I realised a lot and even people that you don't expect they actually bought followers and now you can buy engagements like likes and comments oh, and everything lot, right? and look at some like random people can have like a million followers actually, it's true. like it doesn't make sense lah you know actually, and I'm true. just it's just that the, the, the clients the brands are not really catching up to I hope every client audits every Influencer. Exactly. Yeah. Don't let the cheaters win the yeah. game. It's, it's true, horrible, it's true, right? It's, true. Yeah. it's, true. it's just lying. It's, it should be illegal. I so mean, would you do it? Understand. I, I won't. Uh. I don't want to be caught up with the numbers and I have been caught up with the numbers before. I just want to yeah. make good content, enjoy uh, the platform, talk to my followers and you know, make a good living yeah. honestly. Uh, you know. What made you get off the numbers game? I just got very tired emotionally. Emotionally? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just like, ah, I mean, it doesn't really validate what I want to do. Yeah. Eventually, I align it with what I really want to do in my life, which is yeah. like make and work with really cool people to make really good films. Then mm. like it, the numbers on social media, it's not that, yeah. that important. Yeah. I, I think I talked to Sheila about this too. Yeah. We should have Sheila here! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I talked to her about it and she, she agrees. Like, she said that at one point, everybody gets caught up with the numbers. They will reach also another point where you're like, it really doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah. Okay, finally. Yes. Uh, largest Malayan in Singapore to be demolished on the 20th of October to make way for Sentosa Brani Linkway. Oh. That's the giant one at Sentosa. Yeah, I know. The huge, yeah. a bit creepy looking one. <laughs> Actually, 
<laughs> right? It is a bit creepy it's looking creepy, when he like, shoots laser. Yeah, yeah, then lasers like, so, out of his eyes. Yeah, so what do you think about this? Do you care? I'm I'm a bit sad lah. Okay. I quite like the Merlion. I think it looks makes Sentosa look a bit like creepy. Yeah, creepy. <laughs> and you go at night, it's like woo. Yeah, with the red eyes. Yeah, with the red eyes, quite yeah. cool. I mean, uh, that's it lah. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> okay lah. Green, 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 green. Yeah. Yeah. See, green is mm. skating to places instead of driving. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Right. It's true, it's true. So. Actually, I'm going wakeboarding after this, so I'm just going to That's quite green also, what? Oh, you're going to yeah. skate all the way to the skateboard? We're almost there. You want to accompany oh, me wow. to the skateboard? To you're the always park. manipulating me <laughs> to get to where you want to go! Oh. Bought a gym membership that's closer to my house, so I can actually walk to it, like run oh, to okay. it instead. So, um, instead of driving to gym all the time. You know what? It's really uh, not green, golfing. But it's all on the green. But... <gasps> can you insert yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, really? I thought okay. that was quite good. Yeah.